Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you this Sylvania R47 175 watt mercury vapor street light. Now, yes, this was 100 watt hyper sodium, but since I had a spare 175 watt mercury vapor ballast laying around, I could not resist converting this street light to 175 watt mercury vapor, of course. So, anyway, we will take a look at the street light itself now. Of course, it's made by Sylvania. It's one of their newer street lights, made in like the 1990s or 1980s, somewhere in that range. Of course, there's your yellow sticker. Very, um, grayed out, though, as you can see there. Here's your, um, very worn out Sylvania sticker, if you can kind of make that out. There you go, Sylvania GTE. It's an R47. Now, this street light I actually very, I really, really like. It has a very interesting design to it. So, we will look at the design of the street light now. So, of course, right here we have this very nice, um, interesting ledge thing here that makes the light go this way towards the road. We have these, um, nice rounded corners here. Makes it look very, very nice. We will, um, look, turn the street light over and look at the back. So, everything you see, except for the ballast, actually, most of the stuff is not original to the fixture, actually. So, down here we have an area lighting mixtures photocell that, of course, is not original. We have the slip fitters, that is original, and the cord is not original either. Now we have this interesting little line that goes around here, that's a, another interesting part of its design. So, anyway, looks there's not much except interesting little metal designs on the outside. So, we will open this street light up. So, the way you open this is you click, click this back. It's kind of hard on this one, hold on. There we go, so that unlatches, and then you lift it up like that. So, inside, we have this caster, 175 watt mercury vapor bulb, and yes, that bulb was out of my Sylvania R R37, 175 watt mercury vapor street light. That is no longer 175 watts anymore. It is now 250, but I will make a different video on that. So, we have a clear bulb in there. I really like clear mercury vapor bulbs. You can really see how it works. Now, this caster bulb is not good quality at all, but... It was kind of all I had at the moment. So, inside we have this um, ballast that came out of a streetlight with a broken case. I salvaged the ballast and numerous other things, and that's the ballast I'm using on here. Now, you can see it only has two screws in it. These other holes I cannot put screws in because this ballast had a bracket on the bottom, and it had rivets. So, I had to drill at the rivets, and now I can't put stuff in there since the... Rivet tubes are kind of stuck to the outer case, but that doesn't matter. Two are fine. So, we have these very nicely wound coils. And there are your inputs. Of course, the street light can take 120 or 240 volts. Here's a terminal block down here. This is your power in. This is your power out. And this is another block for 240 volts. This is a PCB filled capacitor. It's very old and there's no problems with it at all. This ballast works great. We have our leveler and our slip fitter, and we have the back of the photocell. Sorry for that wiring up. Back of the photocell. Um, down there we can just see the inputs for the socket. And it is extended quite a bit. I did not do that. Now, this street light has a very, very sharp edge here. I cut myself about four times on this street light while I was working on it. But, anyway, we'll take a look at the sticker over here. It's uh, about the, um... I think it's about like door or something. You can read that. Pause the video if you want to read that. Over here we have a um, a little thing where you can release the lens with. And this lens is original to the fixture as well. Over here, if you push these two um, pins together, that will release the door and we will let you take off the door. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the inside. So we will put our camera back on the tripod. We will close this fixture back up. Now, I really like the way this fixture locks. Watch this. It's kind of hard to do it, though. There you go. So, it locks in place very, really, really nicely. So, anyway, with no more to say, um, I will not be shutting the lights off for this because the camera really likes to adjust, but I will be shutting them off later on. So, anyway, we will um, try to get as much light in here as we possibly can. Uh, never mind. So, anyway, we will plug it in.
and turn it on. Here we go. So right now it is giving off a very, very nice sky blue color. And the ballast is um, not very loud. Works great as well. So of course we're not going to be showing this um, light warming up all the way, but we will fast forward to the point when it's fully warmed up. So here's the lamp at full brightness, and it is very, very bright. It's putting out a green color, as you can see on camera, but in real life, it's more of a sky blue color. It is very bright again. It's actually, see, it's really bright. So, obviously the bulb in there isn't that great of quality, so I'm not sure if it's as bright as it's supposed to be. So as you can hear, the ballast is not that loud. Here's your street light again. And there's another look at the brightness. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video of my Sylvania R47 175 watt mercury vapor street light. Thanks so much for watching.